What has happened to the free market? British car makers have been forced to ration sales of petrol cars as they battle to stay in line with the quotas imposed upon them by His Majesty's Government. Failing to meet this year's target of 22% electric sales will result in oppressive fines for car making firms, wreaking havoc upon the supply and demand of the automotive industry and flouting the fundamental principles of free market economics. It also risks British industry falling behind its foreign competitors. In fact, someone ordering a car from a dealership today may have to wait until February to receive it. If the government really wishes to take its foot off the economic brake, it ought to start here. Well, I'm joined now by the motion journalist and former Top Gear presenter, Quentin Wilson, as well as my most pugnacious panel, and you know who they are. Quentin, thank you once again for coming in for a renewal of this discussion. <coughs> I'm not against electric cars, but I think people should buy them because they want to, run because there's a penalty for buying a petrol car. Yes, look, look, you can carry on driving your petrol or diesel car forever till it and you drop, and nobody's saying that you can't do that. But we're at a, a, an important energy transition, so we need a mandate to stop the eternal tide of diesel SUVs. And we don't want any more diesel SUVs. And the motor industry has made serious mistakes with its electrification policy by just making electric SUVs, big, £100,000 electric SUVs that people can't afford. So the market is, is, is full of those. But I'm glad you mentioned diesel, because there was a huge push by the government and the European Union and crooked car manufacturers, not to exclude really? them, to make people buy diesel cars. I wouldn't fall for it, because I'm afraid I like the better acceleration you get with a petrol Indeed. engine. Indeed. But huge numbers of people bought diesel cars, and then they were told they put yeah. out nitrates and particulates, and they're quite poisonous, and you did the wrong thing. Why should we trust government now with these poisonous batteries but that don't make for a very good second-hand car market? They're not poisonous. They're, they're recyclable. 98% of a battery could be recycled and lives again in second uses in, in energy storage and, 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 and static energy batteries. So it, 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 we shouldn't trust governments, absolutely right. And it was Gordon Brown who said, no, buy a diesel, it's much better for the environment with that green budget in 2000. But the, 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 the point is, electric cars, and consumers need to know this, are much, much cheaper to run now. They really, really are. I mean, you can save thousands over the, over the year. There's no maintenance required. Your fuel is 7p per kilowatt hour, if you can... No, hold on them. a second. It's 7p as long as you take it through the night, through your yeah. uh, octopus Which deal. Which 80% and it's of people 79p do. if you get stuck on the M25. Yeah, no, but then it's the and same then, with and petrol, petrol company, isn't it? Down. You go to a motorway service station, you get your trousers taken down. Mm. So, look, up, up to a point, Lord Copper, I mean, it's... If you go to the ugly service station, where I regularly go, it's about £1.42 for uh, a, a litre of unleaded, which is very reasonable, and it's a private, independent yeah. uh, retailer. I never stop at service stations. No-one in their right mind no. ever stops at service no. stations, they rip you off. But you're right. The price of electricity has to come down, and some of those CPOs, charge point operators, are charging far too much, and they didn't hedge. Tesla can charge 42 pence per kilowatt hour. Why are some people charging 75? So I completely agree with you, Kelvin. But look, you know, we, we want cleaner air in our, our towns and cities. We want energy independence so we don't have to, to, to bow to Putin right. in Saudi Arabia. Right. So this is broadly for society a good thing. But government, new government particularly, needs to get behind this. But in terms of cleaner and economic, new petrol engines are extremely clean and they're very mm. economic. The miles per gallon you can get on small modern cars is quite remarkable. But they still burn hydrocarbons, Jacob. They, they do. And they still emit stuff. But we've had... We breathe. But we've had the coldest summer in nine years. I'm going to bring my panel in on this. We've had the coldest summer for nine years. Every time we have a hot summer, it's we're global warming, we're all frying. Now we're having a cold summer, we're not meant to say, well, it's all right then. Come on, how, how about all of the re respiratory illnesses and all of the long-term health problems? That, how, you, how about the kids that are dying? How about the asthma and, and, and all of these other health issues that we have because of the air quality that we're breathing? Isn't that important? Well, that, that was the diesel engines that the government told us to buy. But, and if you go, go back, you're absolutely right. There was lead in petrol, and that had all sorts of consequences on people's health. But the internal combustion engine has got cleaner and cleaner and cleaner and more efficient. Put in yourself in a garage, Jacob, switch the engine on and see how clean it is. Mm. It depends which car. With my new car, it's very, very clean. With my 1936 Bentley, yes, I'm not absolutely. so sure. Well, 
What, 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 about, <laughs> what about the issue in terms of the car? Is the simple cost of the electric against uh, what is quite a cheap petrol car at the moment? I mean, I'm unsure, right? I have, a, I, have, I have a decent car. I'm unsure at what point I am going to make that movement to electric. And look, when, you're the expert. When should I do it? When will I expect the price? I see Tesla are cutting the price because they, they, they found they couldn't ship as many as they wanted to. When should I do that, Craig? Well, what I would advise you to do, Kelvin, is to buy a used electric car, which is much, much cheaper than a brand new one. Seriously? Prices are coming down, but we've got parity between electric and petrol now. Mm -hmm. um, and you can buy, say, a Tesla, a Model 3 Tesla, which was 40 grand for 15 now. So buy used, not new. And that's, but, a, that's a rule which you apply to petrol cars. But don't you have to worry about the battery life? Because I, I had a very nice hybrid Lexus. And, you and, have... and the battery went. And, if... and then you need to spend £8,000 to get a new yeah. battery. That was and the car wasn't worth old, that. Old tech. Um, and, and look, batteries have come on in leaps and bounds. And now we've got billions of miles of data, global data, that shows, shows that these batteries are not degrading, as we've been told. So I drove a Tesla the other day a 2018 car with a quarter of a million miles on it and it was as fresh as paint and the battery was just doing really, really well. So we, there is no data to say anywhere that batteries are failing prematurely or, 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 or causing causing issues. Your, test, your, your, your Lexus, obviously... The battery blew up and it wouldn't move an inch. I can only apologise. <laughs> it's not your personal fault. Um, but, you see, I don't disagree particularly with anything you're saying. I'm just thinking the market should decide. And if people want to buy petrol cars, you're well, allowed to do so. And if the electric cars are so good, they'll, they'll buy them. And that, that will be market forces. What, 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 what do you make? If you're, you, if you're a manufacturer and you're facing these huge fines, they're going to come up with tricks like this, right? Which means that you're six months away from buying, buying the car you actually want. Why can't the government... I, I ask this. Why can't the government just say, I tell you what... Go, go for your life, because if Tesla are slashing it down to below the price of petrol cars, that's when you will see the actual market simply explode. Yes. Price, Last everything. word to Quentin. Well, look, the, 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 the market is, is going down and the cost of batteries is coming down and manufacturers, particularly those ones who complained about the Z mandate, mm. need to get their price points. Vauxhall have brought out a new electric car called the Frontera, 23 grand. Mm. Now, that's the same price as a Fiesta used to be, so we're, we're getting there. But I have no sympathy for manufacturers who, who complain because they built the wrong type of electric car and expect us to pay 100 grand for it. Mm, exactly. Well, so there we go. Talking. Free markets will work in the end. Thank you to my panel and to Quentin in a moment. You would never have guessed, but it seems...